New Year's Eve can be expensive, especially if you're hosting the party. Holly Johnson, food editor of MyRecipes.com, is here with some great inexpensive appetizers. Good morning, Holly. Good to see you. Good morning. Great Everybody to be here. Everybody right now is obviously on a budget, especially with New Year's Eve. You want to make it good, you want to make it entertaining, visual, but we do have to save a few dollars. That's right, and we have everything you need right here. You can still throw your New Year's Eve party yep. just on a budget. These are affordable appetizers. The first one starts with a frugal cut of meat, like flank steak. Yep. Cook it, slice it thinly across the grain. And then we're gonna mix it with some expensive ingredients, but since we're using just a little amount, it doesn't add up at all. Yeah, a little goat cheese here? A little bit of goat cheese. Okay. Just spread it right just across? Just spread it right across, yes. And then we'll add a piece of dried mango, okay. and a piece of mint, and then just roll just it up. Roll it right up, start. Yes. Each one is just 61 cents per appetizer. 61 cents per appetizer And it's right an easy there. way to serve meat at your party. Sometimes that cost can add up. This is a simple way to do it. And I can do it. It makes it easy. Very good. Expensive and easy. Good job. I'm actually try one of these if you don't Yeah, mind. they're great. People like to serve fresh vegetables right. at their parties, mm -hmm. but it can the cost can add up. Something like a grape tomato is always in season. Yep. The price is really low. So these are just little mini caprese bites, and I'll let you help me make one. Sure. Just thread a piece of tomato, yep. a small piece of fresh mozzarella, mm -hmm. and then another tomato. Now the secret to this recipe <laughs> is that, oh, I know, <laughs> they're kind of hard to do. The secret is that you're not using a whole mozzarella ball. Mm -hmm. You're cutting it into thirds, so you're saving some money. This recipe, each little skewer is just 31 cents. Wow. So it's very simple, simple to do. People can pick easy. it up and pop it in their mouth. Just give it a little drizzle of a homemade balsamic vinaigrette which is just olive oil and balsamic Voila. vinegar, and some fresh basil. It's a colorful addition to I your love party. basil, we're two for two. There we go, okay. Now when the ball drops, you want everyone to have something bubbly to toast. No more alcohol, please, we've yeah. been drinking all morning. <laughs> Y'all have had champagne all morning. We'll <laughs> do a follow up on Betty Ford tomorrow. This is a, <laughs> this is a non alcoholic drink. Ah, it, it makes a simple sugar, which is just cooking sugar in water. You put a little bit of the star anise in it. It's mm -hmm. aromatic, it adds a bit of a licorice flavor. Add just a little bit to your glass. Adds a hint, yeah, and then you'll pour for sure. me. Yes, let's just make one. We'll put a little bit of lemon lime juice. There we go. And then top with the sparkling apple cranberry juice. All those flavors will blend, blend together. A nice old yeah, it bite is, to it, huh? It's fizzy and bubbly, very effervescent. Another recipe. We all know you've been to the party, and there's that guy that's loading up his plate with all of the shrimp. Shrimp can be an expensive oh, appetizer. Appetizer hogs. You can still serve shrimp at your party by making these tiny little shrimp cocktails. What do we have in here? It's a homemade remoulade sauce, which sounds fancy, but it's just a mayonnaise-based sauce. Yep. A shrimp, a pickled okra. If you can't find pickled okra, pickled asparagus, or even just a little gherkin pickle, and some breadsticks. <laughs> Very easy, and then that you know that guy's not going to load his plate up with all those glasses. And again, less than a dollar at seafood, and we know lobster is obviously very affordable right now. Now, shrimp can be affordable shrimp as well. Shrimp is another one too. Last it. one is a pear and sage crostini. Sounds great, it's very simple. You just caramelize your pear, you cook it for about 10 minutes, add a little bit of blue cheese. Each one is just about 39 cents per crostini. Gang, come on in here for a second. Oh yes, please come eat. You need taste testers? The, yes, well, always, always. I'm the guy who loads up the plate with shrimp. <laughs> okay. Just so we eat. Here, I'll let you try with the jab. Perfect. I want to try the beef one. Go ahead, try that. Go ahead and try right. that one. Only to, one for something, you. something to absorb all <laughs> the alcohol. Which one did you make? There we go. That one right there. Okay. The best Jackie? part, everything's under a dollar.